Hello there and welcome back. In this video we are going to build or start building an infrastructure for CF Engine and uh, basically what we would like to do first is to pick a master server or policy or hub server if you will and this is going to be a CentOS machine. Now in order to use this machine not the CentOS, but the Cento. I'm going to SSH in and install the wget command. And once the installation is complete, we can grab an installer. So we should go to the enterprise download page and choose our Debian or CentOS version and copy the link address. And now we can use wget to download it. And once the download completes, we can go ahead and basically install it. So anything which is named uh, like CF Engine Nova Hub is going to be the policy server and the rest are going to be the clients. All right. So now we can use the RPM IVH CF Engine Nova Hub to install it. Once the installation completes, we need to bootstrap the agent, and for that, we will have to have an IP address. So let's go to the machine once again and issue the IP address show. So this is going to be the IP address that we will use. And now it should be completed any minute. Come on. Do -do -do. We are almost there. So now we can use the var cf engine bin cf agent bootstrap command with the ip address and bootstrap the agent <coughs> and if the bootstrap is complete or once it completes what we can also do is to disable firewall d and stop firewall D. Now what we can do is to visit in the browser this IP address and we can log in with the admin and admin. And now let's go ahead and give it a new password. <laughs> All right, but there is also one last step which we would like to do and that's basically this command. So let's go ahead and run it. All right, now we are at the mission portal. We don't want to see these windows again. And we can see a, a default dashboard which shows the changes, software updates, system health, and so on. And under the hosts, yes, update it, we should see our CentOS machine added. Now uh, we have basically an agent installed which can be used to enforce policies. And that's technically it. So once uh, this is done, we can take a tour on the web interface. So now we have also access to the reports and the measurements and the policy analyzer and so on. Uh, the next step is to add uh, basically uh, a new agent on a Linux machine. So let's do that. See you in the next one. 